So welcome back. For we're going to be doing the men's bracket for the final four. Actually, that's going to be in Phoenix for the NCAA. So for UConn versus Stetson, I got UConn. I also have UConn. Also have UConn. I also have UConn. Um, for number two is FAU versus Northwestern. I have FAU. I also have FAU. So I also have FAU. Um, not going to be real interesting for the first couple. Well, I think FAU and Northwestern could be close, yeah. but FAU showed that they know how to win after their Final Four appearance last year, so. All right. It's true. Yep. Oops. For... Um, San Diego State versus Auburn. I have San Diego State. It's it's not Auburn. It's UAB. Oh, it's UAB. I was reading the wrong one. I have San Diego State. I also, also have San Diego State. Yep. I also have San Diego State. Um, for Auburn versus Yale, I have Auburn. I also have Auburn. I got Yale. I also have Auburn. All right. Um, anyway, you pick Yale. Yeah, a I random know. upset. I don't know. Okay. Fair enough. Good one. Um, I have BYU versus. Not gonna try to pronounce that. Yeah. I got BYU. I also have BYU. I also have BYU. Um, I have Illinois versus Morehead State. Who do you have? Illinois. I have Illinois. Yep. I have so Morehead State. <coughs> um, I was reading this article. Well, not really an article. Um, there was a tweet from a very good source. It's actually CTESPN. And uh, they think Moorhead State is going to win. And uh, Antonio Brown was one the analyst for CTESPN that thinks Moorhead State is going to win. So CTESPN. Yep. That's trustworthy. Yep. So I got Moorhead State there. In the big upset in the first round. No, I got Illinois. They're going to absolutely stomp Moorhead State. Wow, that's a quick question you just said there. Um, everyone, you, who'd you say who you got? I have Illinois for everything. <coughs> what? Um, I got Washington State versus Drake. And, oh, I got Washington State. You should say what so seeds there. Oh, so this is the 7 and 10. 7 and 10, yeah, actually. I'm going Drake. Fair enough. Washington State for me, though. I went Drake as well. I think that Drake proved, in, proved themselves in the Missouri Valley Conference Tournament this year. Um, they showed that they can compete, so Washington State's been pretty iffy all year. I agree with Jackson. All right. For the 2 and 15 seed, South Dakota State, uh, I got Iowa State, though. You know. Yeah, I gotta go with Iowa State. As much as I want to pick SDSU, I don't think that uh, don't think they're any match for Iowa State. I also went Iowa State. I also went Iowa State. All right. So then, moving on to the next round, we have number one UConn versus uh, number no, that's five. North Carolina. No, he's moving to the next oh, round. We're yeah. doing this whole. Why don't you go all the way down? Yeah, do all the first round oh, matchups okay, first. Okay. So for. The first in the West, I have North Carolina versus Howe. Um, actually, North Wagner won that one. Oh, okay. I went with North Carolina. So I went with North Carolina. We should, we should skip to our Sweet 16s. Yeah, let's just go to the Sweet 16s, I think. Oh, okay. All right, so for our East, I have UConn, which is number one versus San Diego State, number five. I got UConn. I have UConn versus Auburn. I also have UConn versus Auburn. I got UConn and San Diego State. I have Auburn upsetting the defending champs, the UConn Huskies, and moving on to the Elite Eight. Wow. I got Illinois versus Iowa State, which is number three and number two, and I have Illinois. I have BYU against Iowa, and I have Iowa moving on. Yeah, I got BYU and Iowa, and I got BYU and another upset. And I also have BYU versus Iowa State, and I have BYU winning. Um, I have North Carolina versus Alabama, and I got North Carolina winning. 
I have North Carolina versus Alabama. I have Alabama winning. What about you, Brendan? I got North Carolina and St. Mary's, and I got North Carolina winning. I got North Carolina and Bama, and I got North Carolina winning. Okay, so for the next one, it will be for me, Baylor versus Arizona, and I got Baylor winning. Mine is Clemson versus Arizona. I have Clemson winning. I also have number three Baylor against number two Arizona. And I have Baylor winning. I got an upset. I got New Mexico against Dayton, and I have Dayton moving on to the Elite Eight. Um. <coughs> so, for our Elite Eight, is this Elite Eight? The other side, Sweet Sixteen. Oh, yeah, for Sweet Sixteen side. for the other side. All right. Who do you guys got? I have Texas A&M, the number nine seed, coming off an upset win against Houston, but then I think they fall short against number five, Wisconsin. I have number five, Wisconsin, moving on to my Elite Eight. I also have Texas A-M-N versus Wisconsin. I have Wisconsin moving on. I got Houston and Wisconsin. I got Houston moving on. Um, I have Houston versus Duke, and I'm going to have to take Duke here. Um, who do you guys got for the bottom side of your south bracket? Um, I have Texas Tech versus Kentucky, and I have Texas Tech winning that game. That's your second round. Hmm? The Sweet 16. Yep. Mm-hmm. Who, do, who do you got win it going? Uh, I have Texas Tech going against BSU. BSU. And Texas Tech taking that one. I have Kentucky and Marquette, um, and I have Kentucky upsetting number two Marquette. I got Texas Tech and Colorado, and I got Texas Tech winning that game. I have uh, Kentucky and Florida, and I got Kentucky winning. Um, what do we have for the Midwest? I have Purdue and Sanford, and I have... Uh, Number 13, Sanford, not moving on. I have Purdue beating them. I have Purdue versus Gonzaga. And I think that Gonzaga is going to upset Purdue. I got Purdue and Gonzaga, but I have Purdue moving on to the Elite Eight. I have Purdue versus Gonzaga, and I have Purdue moving on. Um, For the bottom side of our Midwest brackets, what do we got? Um, I have Oregon, oh no, I have Creighton, what are you trying to say? Creighton and, hmm, let's just go with an upset to Tennessee and go UVA versus Creighton and then Creighton beating UVA. I have uh, Creighton and Tennessee and I have Tennessee winning. I got Creighton and Tennessee, but I got Creighton winning. I am South Carolina and Texas, and I have Texas winning. All right. So now for our what did I hear? Oh, yeah. Elite. Elite Eight for Midwest South. Do East. Start back at the top. Well, don't we go need back to, go to the left here. side. No, go back to the left side. Just oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So <coughs> for Elite Eight, I have. San Diego State and Illinois, and I got San Diego State. I have UConn versus Iowa, and I have UConn. I have Auburn and BYU, and I'm taking number six, BYU. I got UConn and BYU. I'm taking UConn. That's a good one. Uh, Riley, do you see what you got? Yeah, I do. Okay. Um, I have North Carolina and Baylor, and I think North Carolina is going to win. I have Alabama and Clemson, and I have Alabama winning. I have North Carolina and Dayton, and I have Dayton pulling off the upset to get into the Final Four. I have North Carolina and Baylor, and I have Baylor winning it. All right. Um, so, back to our right side of the bracket, which is South and Midwest. I have Duke and Kentucky, and I think Kentucky's going to win. And then I have Gonzaga and Creighton, and I think Creighton's going to win. I have 
Wisconsin and Kentucky, and I think Wisconsin wins to get into the Final Four. And then I got Purdue and Tennessee, and I have Tennessee upsetting Purdue. I got Houston and Texas Tech. I got Houston moving on to the Final Four. And then I got Purdue and Creighton, and I have Creighton pulling off the upset against the number one seed and getting into the Final Four. I have Wisconsin and Texas Tech, and I have Wisconsin moving on. And I have Purdue versus Texas, and I have Purdue moving on. All right, so for our championship, who do you guys got? For my Final Four, I have oh. BYU versus Baylor. And I have Baylor winning that to get into the national championship game. I got UConn versus Dayton, and I have UConn winning to get to the national championship. Then on the other side, I got Houston and Creighton, and I have Houston winning that game. Okay. Um, I have San Diego State and North Carolina, and I think North Carolina is going to win. And then on my other side, I have Kentucky and Creighton. And I think Kentucky's going to win. I have UConn versus Bama, and I have UConn winning that game. And then I have Purdue versus Wisconsin, and I think Purdue's going to win that game. On the other side, I have Wisconsin versus Tennessee. And I think Tennessee um, moves on to the national championship. All right. Who do you guys got winning the national championship? I feel like um, this team is competed with all the good teams they've played this year, even if they might have lost. Um, they've played in a bunch of close games, and I think that's going to help them um, not fold under pressure throughout the tournament. And so I have the number two seed, Tennessee Volunteers, beating the Baylor Bears 70 to 61. Um, Riley, you want to go? I have UConn versus Purdue, and I have Purdue winning. What's your score? 73 to 68. You got UConn and Houston. Uh, I think Houston is one of the best defensive teams in the nation. And I think that they've proven it this year uh, as a number one seed. And I got them beating UConn in the national championship game 71 to 62. I have North Carolina versus Kentucky. And I think North Carolina is going to win 74 to 62. All right. So that's it. Anything else you want to talk about? What's your guys' biggest upset? Uh, like what's the most likely first round upset that you think is going to happen? <laughs> or who's your, no, no. But yet, who's your Cinderella story team? My Cinderella in this bracket is Dayton. I got them in the final four. Um, there's always a team that comes out that nobody really expects to do well. And I think sitting at a seven seed is a perfect spot for a Cinderella team to make a run at the, uh, at the final four. I also think BYU is a team to watch, yeah. coming in as a sixth seed. Yep, I have them in my final four. It's hard to it's hard to call a number six seed a Cinderella story sometimes, um, but I think Sanford can uh, do some damage down in the Midwest. They play number four Kansas, who's almost always a powerhouse. I feel like four is the lowest Kansas has been ranked in like five to ten years. Like Kansas is never that low. Same with Gonzaga, or Gonzaga. Mm -hmm. um, they're never a five seed. They're one, two, or three. Um, and I think Sanford can beat both of them. Um, McNeese is 30 and three. So there was a 12 seed that plays Gonzaga right away. Mm -hmm. I think Sanford and, Gen and McNeese could play in the second round. I, I think one of those two teams would be the Cinderella it. story. I do think I that. that. I agree with McNeese, but uh, since Jackson already kind of said that one, I think that uh, another kind of Cinderella story would it be Utah State, maybe? If Utah State. A decent team. Uh, a sleeper team to keep an eye on, in my opinion, is Oregon. They played great in the conference tournament, and they've really been heating up as of late. Uh, coming in at an 11 seed, they could potentially pull off a couple upsets and get into the Sweet 16 or the Elite Eight. Yeah, I agree. I also agree. Another team I'd say is Texas Tech. Um, I have them losing in the second round to Kentucky in this bracket, but I filled out plenty more 
and uh, there's times where they made it to the final four of the Elite Eight. I even picked them to be the national champs in one of them. They shoot a lot of free throws, um, close to like 40 a game. So if you make, if you only miss 10 of those, 30 of your points are from the free throw line. Yeah, I have Texas Tech making it to the Elite Eight over Kentucky. So, you know, I think they're also going to be a sleeper pick. What do you guys think about uh, the FAU? You know, they're going to have to go against UConn, and then they're going to have to possibly play uh, San Diego State or Auburn. you think FAU could come out on that side? I don't. Um, I would say last year, I mean, they experienced big basketball in the Final Four, but they were kind of a Cinderella story last year. I don't know if they can if it can happen again. Yeah, I agree. I think uh, an underrated team, in my opinion, is St. Mary's. They played great in their conference tournament, coming in as a five seed. Um, I'm not completely sold on North Carolina, which is who they would meet in the Sweet 16 matchup, and they're definitely a team to keep an eye on to make a run at the Final Four. Who do you guys think got seeded way too high? Like, who's way too good on this bracket? It's hard to say. Um, teams have definitely had their ups and downs all year. Um, the SEC conference especially, uh, Kentucky at a three seed, uh, Tennessee at a two seed. Um, they traded wins and losses this year when they played each other. Um, it's really hard to tell who is truly the best out of their conference um, when they split games like that. Um, Tennessee at a two, I feel like, is kind of high for them. Yeah. Uh, they've Definitely played some very good basketball, but they have lost to some opponents that uh, they definitely should not have lost to. See, I, I think Iowa State, for me, they, they're just coming off like a 25-point win against Houston in the Big 12 championship game. But uh, like you look at their other games, like when they played Baylor, for example, they were down by 15 like the entire game. And then... Uh, they were lucky enough for Baylor's head coach to get ejected. Their Baylor's bench got a couple of technicals. Just like that, they went on a 20 0 run and they were up by almost 10 points. But then they slowly lost that lead back and Baylor just kind of dominated them all night. So. I think that, I don't really know. San Diego State, I think that they're kind of a little underrated. I would put them a little higher, but I think they're going to go. I have them in my final four, but I think North Carolina is going to pull it off. I don't know if I like Auburn at a four seed. That seems kind of high for Auburn. Yeah. I think BYU is seeded a little high on this list, but Six. that could just be. The, the thing about BYU is they live and die by the three, so um, honestly they could easily win the national championship if they can get to that point. Um, it's just going to be how they shoot every single night. Illinois is going to be a hard matchup for them if they win or if they beat Morehead State, I guess. Mm -hmm. But um, who do you guys think is going to be like a the biggest upset? Like who do you think is going to lose and people are expecting them to do a lot better? I personally think that Houston is not going to do as good as people think. But. I agree. Also Kentucky. I feel like there's a slim chance that Kentucky might get upset by Oakland in the first round. And that's just because Kentucky is all offense. They're like they they've played in a handful of games this year where they or the other team are scoring a hundred points. Like they're hitting triple digits pretty regularly and but their offense can stay with just about anybody. And so I think that's why they're a three seed. But if they don't find a, if they don't find something on defense, they could struggle this tournament. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Um, I also, I think Baylor's been a team that everybody's kept their eye on all year, but I do not see them making it to the Sweet 16. I have them losing to either Clemson or New Mexico in that game in the second round. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like a lot of teams like Baylor, like UConn. Like Purdue, the teams that everybody keeps their eye on all year long, they fold when it comes to this time. Mm -hmm. So that's where I get my uh, 
Wisconsin, my Tennessees. Tennessee kind of went under the radar, so I guess we'll see. Same with BYU. I think that's where these teams excel. What do you guys think about, uh, what do you guys think about, uh, you think Oregon's going to do very good in the, I think that they do have a little, like, they have a lot of power, I guess, to beat Creighton, but I don't. They have a lot of momentum coming yeah, off of their common go. tournament. I don't um, know if they'll pull Creighton I think, off. I think Creighton's very underrated, though. Um, they are a three yeah. seed, so they're getting a little bit more recognition in that way. But uh, being in the conference that they're in, I think they're overlooked, and I would not be surprised at all to see them in the Final Four. You know, I have Creighton in my Final Four, but I do see Oregon probably fall into Creighton, but like you said, momentum. But I don't know if that's going to help them a whole lot. So the Big East usually has a lot of powerhouse teams. You know, they have UConn, they have Villanova, Marquette, Creighton. Those four teams always seem to find themselves in the tournament. This year there's no Villanova. Um, but UConn's a one seed, Marquette's a two seed, and Creighton's a three seed representing the Big East. Do you guys think that the Big East basketball is at the same level as an SEC or an ACC or a Big Ten school? Um, I, I don't know if SEC this year, but definitely ACC. Um, I'm not completely sold on any of the ACC teams. Duke, I don't like at a four seed. Um, North Carolina at a one seed. They played very inconsistent, I feel like, throughout the season. Um, so I think that any of the Big East teams are capable of competing this year. And it'll be interesting to see if that uh, Creighton-Tennessee matchup happens. I think it'll be on full display for everybody to see. I agree with Brendan. Yeah. You know, um, I don't think that they're quite what they could be. I think that they could be better. They're just, I don't really know what happened, I guess. I don't know. Talking about. Are we still talking about the Big East here? Uh, yeah, I didn't know what you were saying. Oh, you said yeah. that. Sorry. Yeah, that's my fault. Um, yeah, so I think that's probably going to wrap this one up, and we'll see you next time.